Today, I set out with a goal in mind, to get my maths brain working. How lucky do you have to get to get a 50 crit value piece? This video is going to be heavily maths focused with complex formulas and might be hard to follow at times. So there are timestamps on the video and in the description, so feel free to click around. Now, before this, I have to preface that in this video I am assuming any piece, regardless of main stat and artifact set, just purely focusing on the crit value from substats alone. Also, we will not be including crit damage and rate masks as they can't reach 50 crit value on purely substats alone. Now, to get into the maths. Firstly, all 50 plus crit value pieces have to be a four line start, with all subsequent rolls going into crit. And finally, they must average a 7.3 crit value per roll. Starting with the four line start odds, which there is no exact chance given to us, but luckily there is data on thousands of artifact runs and how many of them turned out four line versus three line starts, which turns out to be approximately a 20% chance. Now, there are 10 possible substats to start with on a piece, all listed below. However, depending on the main stat, it will be removed from the pool of substats and only have nine possible substats. For example, a flat HP flower will not have a flat HP substat, meaning there is a higher chance to have a crit stat. However, a pyrodamage bonus goblet, for example, will have 10 substat options because pyrodamage bonus is not in the possible substat pool. There is a 90% chance that the peaks will have a normal main stat, examples the ones in the substat pool, and a 10% chance that it will be a main stat not in the substat pool. For example, elemental damage bonus, physical damage bonus, and healing bonus. With that out of the way, we can now use a maths formula that can show us how many combinations we have. That being 10 choose 4 or 9 choose 4, depending on the main stat. 10 choose 4 gives us 210 options, with 28 combinations that give us double crit lines, so a 13.3% chance and 9 choose 4 gives us 126 possibilities with 21 of them being double crit, so a 16.6% .6 chance. By combining this 90% chance of 9 substats and 10% chance of 10, we have a final number of 16.3% chance to have a double crit piece, either being a 3 line or a 4 line start. However, this is where a problem lies as Hoyaverse decided to add another layer of RNG just to make it even harder for us. So, the actual substats themselves are weighed towards you getting certain substats. If you aren't following so far, good luck with keeping up with this next part. Now, substats are not an equal 1 out of 10 or 1 out of 9 chance of starting with that substat. Using the spreadsheet again and another source with thousands of artifacts as data, it is found that the chance of crit damage and crit chance are only around 8%, whereas flat attack, defense, and HP are all around 15%. Thanks, Hoyaverse. So, we are only getting an 8% chance of crit versus the 11% chance we thought we were getting. Luckily, all we have to do is calculate the difference between them, being 0.72, and apply this to the 16.3% chance to get double crit we just calculated before, resulting in the final number of 11.8% chance to get a double crit artifact. Now, the final thing to do in this section is multiplying that with the chance of a four line start. And we have a 2.37% chance of an artifact with double crit lines as a four line start. Hopefully you're still with me. If not, don't worry. All you need to do for now is remember that 2.37% for this artifact on the right and put it in the back of your brain for now. As now, we are going to calculate the substat roll combinations. Firstly, there are five rolls per piece and each of them has four variations. For example, crit damage has four different values it can roll into, each with a 25% chance. 5.44, 6.22, 6.99 and 7.77. We will be using a similar formula as the one before, except the only difference is that repetitions is allowed. Example, all rolls going into flat defense. I know you've been there. So, 
N will equal our options to choose from, and K, how many times do we choose from them? Now, with this formula, we get a total of 15,504 possible combinations. The next step is to find out how many of these combinations result in the crit value being above 50. This took some time as I had to manually sort through combinations, making sure to take into account the starting crit values. Eventually, I found that there are a total of 16 ways to make a 50 plus crit value piece. Now some simple maths, 16 divided by 15,000 gives us a roughly 0.1% chance of doing this. Fun fact, there are only 6 possible numbers over 50 crit value you can hit with the highest among them being 54.4. Now, for the long-awaited final results. By multiplying artifact start at 2.37% chance, by substat roll chance at 0.1% chance, we now have a stunningly low 0.00237% chance of getting a 50 plus crit value piece per artifact. Assuming you're an F2P player, and don't cap resin and some double artifact drops, you can get on average 10 artifacts per day. Now multiplying this value by 365 gives us an 8.65% chance per year. Now I know there's some absolute insane whales who max refresh resin every day, looking at you Mr. Slice. That gives you about 28 artifacts a day, so almost 3 times more likely to get one drop at 24.2% a year or on average, one in every 42,000 artifacts will be a 50 crit value piece. So, keep dreaming that one day one of these will be yours. Anyway, thank you for watching. Hopefully you understood something from this video. Until next time.